Hey, 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 and welcome back to another Make Math, Make Sense Master Classic Math video. I'm Mr. Shalongo coming to you from my classroom at Betty Fairfax High School. Today we're talking about features of quadratic functions. We've got a whole lot to cover. We've got a short amount of time. So let's just get straight up into it. Oh, by the way, we're trying to get to 400 subs by the end of the month. If you're not sub, then sub. Help us get to our goal. And as always, touch the up thumb at the end of the video and leave a comment or some feedback on what your favorite quadratic form is. Standard form, vertex form, factor form. I don't know. You tell me. All right, so we've learned about three forms, and in each of these three forms, each form quickly reveals something about the parabola without having to graph it. So when we have the quadratic in factored form, we've got two factors, so two sets of parentheses that are being multiplied. One of each is a factor, and we can quickly reveal or see what the x-intercepts are by just seeing what number would create the zero. So in this case, what number plus u would create a zero? That would be our x-intercept. So in factored form, we can deduce the x-intercepts or the zeros by just using our eyeballs. In standard form, we got ax squared plus bx plus c. That plus c part is the y-intercept. So we can quickly we can quickly identify what that y-intercept is by just looking to see what the constant is when when in standard form. And then in vertex form. Obviously, what does it quickly reveal about the, pro the parabola? It quickly reveals the vertex. We just have to look to see what the h value is. That's the x value of our vertex. And the k value would be the coordinate point for the y value of our vertex. Let's do some problems. Function f is given to us in three equivalent forms. So that means that if I were to graph a, b, and c in Desmos, I would get the same exact parabola. We're looking for the form that quickly reveals the vertex. I'm going to my notes real quick. Cool vertex form. We've got a times x minus h squared plus k. So I'm looking for the one that looks like that. Option A, we got two factors here. Cool, this is factored form. Option B, we've got a perfect square plus a constant. That looks exactly like vertex form with my eyeballs. I can see the parallels here. I can see the little square. I can see the little square. Cool. And then the last one just to cover it is in standard form x squared bx plus c. We're going to select b because that's the one that's in vertex form. And then we got to put the vertex and it can kind of be tricky here because the x value is always the opposite of what you think it should be. So we got a minus two there, but the vertex form has a negative. So H is actually a positive two. And then the K value is the constant, the number that's being added or subtracted. It's a positive K. So we're gonna leave it as a positive 27. Which of the forms quickly reveals the zeros or the roots? We know that this form is going to be factored form. So we're looking for the one that looks like this. Option A, we got factor one and factor two, sweet. Just to cover them, we've got standard form for option B and vertex form for option C. We want the one that reveals the x-intercepts, which is factored form. And then we're just figuring out what the x-intercepts are. There's two of them. So we're just looking to see what number here would create the zero. So x would equal negative one. That would create a zero here. We have negative one plus one would be zero. And then what number would create the zero here? negative 11 plus 11 would create a zero so our second answer is negative 11 we can choose either of these answers um, for our box we put in negative one or we could put in a negative 11 